So I'm, I'm here tonight. Uh, I just went live on Instagram. Thank you for following me on Instagram. So this is Star Fury, founder of EnRacingForever.org. So I'm about to um, call it a night and uh, about to, you know, we had a discussion tonight and uh, went pretty well. We had some great guests as usual. And I'm about to call it quits. And you won't believe, of course, you know, being, being part of the organization to end racism, discrimination, and sexism. Guess what I found? It, guess what I saw on my phone? I'm watching Jimmy Dore right now. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm literally enjoying Jimmy Dore show right now on my phone. And I had to stop because I, I saw this and I'm gonna share my screen with you. <sighs> take a deep breath, take a deep breath, take a deep breath. Where is it? Where is this, this darn thing? Uh, hold on. Zoom. Okay, there it is. All right. So I'm gonna share this. I got a I got a message from in my newsreel from the the, uh, the New York uh, not sorry the LA, Los Angeles Times about now the KKK propaganda drop uh, and a planned White Lives Matter rally rattled two OC communities which means OC in Orange County California I used to live in California. Uh, Garden Grove and Corona back in the day. Um, now I moved back to Washington, D.C. I'm going to just read this to you out loud. Now, the, my son is asleep. My wife is, is in bed. I'm about to shut down this studio, you know, but I'm now, because of this that came over my phone a minute ago, I have to go back live on Instagram on, on, and on, on YouTube, on Zoom. I'm going to read this to you. This was posted today at uh, Los Angeles Times on uh, March 31st by Sarah Carillon, uh, Cara Dine, Andrew Tucker, Mark Sarbo on Los Angeles Times. The Ku Klux Klan propaganda discovered outside the homes in Newport Beach and a flyer announcing plans for a White Lives Matter rally in Huntington Beach have put local and city officials on alert regarding potentially escalating white nationalist sentiment. Residents living on, the sh on one street in Newport Heights were surprised Sunday morning to find their lawns and driveways littered with apparent recruitment propaganda urging citizens to join the fight for the white race by learning more about the KKK. Flyers with images of a white robed Klansman and Confederate flags reading loyal white knights want you to say no to cultural genocide. And promoting a Klan radio show were discovered by a group of homeowners living in San Bernardino Avenue early Sunday. Yeah, they, I, I lived in Corona and Riverside. They, yeah. Uh, one neighbor who asked not to be identified for fear of backlash said she notified the Newport Beach Police Department after a surveillance camera at her home showed a pickup truck driving slow by her street at 2 24 a.m sunday uh ostens ostensibly delivering um the materials ostensibly delivering the materials i got that word right uh there was nothing when the pickup started to pass the house but afterward the, the package was there she said of a small paper sealed inside a plastic bag and containing a small rock possibly to aid the delivery. There was a lot of hate and the hate is pretty horrible. The woman continued, that's Southern California. Um, I know because someone yelled the word uh, nigger when I was cutting my grass in Southern in Corona, California one morning. While I was in was cutting the grass and someone drove by, three white guys drove by and yelled uh, nigger, um, uh, while I was cutting the grass. So yeah, that's that's Southern California. Um, 
Uh, okay, so there's a lot of hate and the woman, and, and the hate is pretty horrible. The woman continued, recounting how some neighbors profess having a, no problem with the content of the flyers. Newport Beach needs help. Orange County needs help. Orange County do need help. Again, I've, I went to Saddleback College. I went to Chapman University. They're racist. Uh, Newport Beach Police uh, spokes, spokeswoman Heather Rangel on Tuesday confirmed at least one resident had reported the incident and said that the department was actively investigating the matter. She was unable to clarify whether the incident constituted a hate crime, or <laughs> although no overt criminal acts seem to have been committed in the distribution of the papers. Mayor Brad Avery said Tuesday that he had uh, that he and other city officials were disappointed to learn of the hate-based activity in the community and were looking into it. They're not disappointed, that's just Southern California. Unfortunately, this is a common tactic used by some hate groups today. Avery said in a statement, we condemn all that the group's ideology and assured our residents that the Newport Beach Police Department is actively investigating to determine the individuals or group responsible for disturbing these, the, the, for for disturbing, distributing these materials. So this is what the flyer said. Join us to march and rally Sunday, April 11th at 1 p.m. It's time to take a stand. Bring hand sanitizer, practice social dis distancing, mass encourage for autonomy. Hello everyone, we will be planning a we, hello everyone, we'll be planning a, we'll be planning the, uh, uh, hello everyone, we'll be planning a WLM rally in Orange County in solidarity with Americans all over the, the nation for 411. Tentatively, lo location will be in front of the Huntington Beach Pier. More information to follow, send this channel to all, pa to all patriots here. We, we will be planning. We will be planning the WLM rally in Orange County in solidarity with Americans all over the nation on 411. The notice read. Uh, send this channel to all patriots in SoCal, Southern California, who stand against anti white racism and violence. Look. This is why edracingforever.org was created. I, this this was bound to happen. I, I, I'm surprised it happened. It doesn't. It didn't happen sooner. Um, I'm surprised that. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not surprised. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. This is the way the America thinks. This is the way the world thinks. Um, and this is why we're here. I've lived in Orange County. I lived in Garden Grove. I live in Orange. I went to Chapman University for three years. Uh, I lived in Corona, California. Uh, my wife lived in San Antonio, uh, not San Antonio, San Clemente, um, uh, California, where she got, where she sp spoke to one of the neighbors and they egged her car because she complained that, um, you know, they were making too much noise or something. They egged her car you know, these white frat boys. This is why I originally left California and this is why I moved back to Washington DC, Maryland. Um, this was just one of the reasons, but you know, you could say this is not the entire populace, but this is what they allowed. When you allow hate to fester since the inkling creation of a society till now and you allow it the the kkk uh, anyway look you allow this to happen so this is why we're here now and this is why i'm bringing attention to this uh, a quote that i remember Evil, evil prevails when good men still stand by and do nothing. So if you're gonna stand by and do nothing and won't shut this down and let it go on for another hundred years, then that's where our organization and racingforever.org comes in to stop it. Because this dysfunctional society that keeps going on and on and on and, and, 
in our country and our society um, that we allow to happen because of, of happenstance and say they're the organization let it, to let it go. You know, cancel culture, I understand cancel culture is canceling everybody. I don't see them canceling the KKK. They, they ain't canceling the KKK. Why? Okay. I just want to bring your attention to that. Uh, if you want to participate, you know, you can go to the, go fly to OC, participate in the 411 White Lives Matter rally. That's up to you. Enracingforever.org. <laughs> wow. Unflippin' believable.